Well hi there and welcome to class number 3 in the animation course on the Adobe Ad Exchange. In this third class we're going to use lip sync animation in Adobe Animate. And I'm going to use uh, Adobe Capture in this case on my iPhone to uh, capture a drawing that I've made. So I'm going to go to the shape tab, hit the plus sign and uh, make a picture of my, uh, my drawing. With a lot of mouths that I'm going to use in my animation. I'm going to use the slider to select the drawing a bit better so I want to have more green inside of my image something like this is okay I'm gonna grab the image and now it's uh, translated into a vector art so that's uh, that's pretty cool I can erase the area that I don't like in this image Something like this is okay, and then I'm gonna upload it to my uh, library. So it's gonna render it out. Hit next, give the name, save shape, and now it's uploaded in my Edge Gain library on my mobile device and of course it's available in Adobe Animate as well so let's switch over to Adobe Animate CC on the desktop device so we are back in Animate CC again and I'm gonna find out where my uh, Adobe Creative Cloud library is so I'm gonna go to uh, window and then uh, CC libraries and that will give me a window uh, where I can find my uh, my libraries I've got multiple in this in this case and in my edge gain library, well, there's the image that I took with my phone just early on. I'm going to drag it from my library onto my stage. And then it asks me, what do I need to do with this image? And I want to import all paths into the same layer and frame. That makes it easier to, uh, to animate on. And I'm going to change the, uh, the stage size to the artwork size in order to make it uh, fit correctly. And let's fit in window. And then what I need to do is uh, well, uh, clean up some stuff so I don't need my notes alongside the mouse which are hardly able uh, which are hardly able to read. I'm gonna select those and uh, delete them just clean up the, the image where I'd like to. And then uh, use the lasso tool to uh, select all my mouths which I'm gonna convert into a symbol. And I'm going to need uh, the original mouth inside of my drawing itself as well. So I'm going to hit shift and select it with the black arrow. There we go. And then in order to make it, uh, to convert it to a symbol, right click your selection. And then convert to symbol. There you go. And then choose from mouth. There are several types of symbols. So there's a movie clip which has got a, a, a timeline within the symbol itself. Uh, for instance, if you want to make a, a windmill um, with rotating blades, continuously rotating blades, a move clip will be, uh, will be helpful. But in this case, I want to uh, select uh, the mouse frame by frame, and that's way better with a graphic. And then you've got a button, well, that makes sense. Um, that's for use of uh, an interactive document which you can make with Animate. So I'm going to stick with graphic. That's the, the right one for now. Um, well that's okay there we go and now when I want to uh, uh, to alter my mouse I'm gonna double click on the symbol to open it up it will make my head a little bit more gray uh, a little bit transparent um, to make it clear that I'm working with my symbols at this moment and not with the scene uh, when you want to go back to the scene it's easily done by clicking on scene 1 in this case and that will give us back the, the original scene and with a double click on the symbol it will uh, move us into the uh, uh, the symbol object so I'm gonna uh, make sure that every uh, mouth which is built up with several uh, lines um, is one group so I'm gonna hit command G or control G on a Windows machine to make it into a group which is easier for me later on command G and one thing, these mouths are slightly bigger than I wanted to, um, so I'm gonna scale those down apart from my original mouth. 
So shift select all these mouths and scale them quite a bit with the uh, free transform tool. So again, I'm going to select all of them. I'll right click the selection and then distribute it to keyframes. There we go. And now in every single keyframe, there's uh, one mouth and an empty one, the original frame. It's an empty keyframe, which I'm going to remove, remove frames. And now all I need to do is uh, select my mouse and put them in the, the right area of the face. There we go. And let's do that with all of them. And there we go. And now when I want to go back to the original uh, stage, original scene, I'm going to double click outside of my symbol and I'm back again. And now what I need to do is make sure that uh, the mouth and the head are in a separate layer. So I'm going to double click my layer and uh, call it uh, head. Uh, make a new layer which contain the mouth. Gonna select the mouth, hit Command X and Command Shift V to paste it again on exactly the same spot, but in this case inside of the mouth layer. And I'm gonna lock the head layer to make sure I don't mess up that layer. And now we need to make another layer, and that's the audio layer. So I'm gonna make a new layer called audio, and I will import the audio file. So file import import to stage. And there it is, and it will import it directly into this keyframe over here. And there's not that much to see, but there's a waveform inside of that uh, that layer, uh, which we will be able to see if we gonna extend the uh, uh, the frames. So I'm gonna select frame 175. Just guessing, hit F5 on my keyboard, and there's the audio file. So I'm gonna cut a bit off, Shift F5, and there's the audio file. So that's pretty cool. Let's listen. Now the mouth is already moving, but it's not lip syncing yet. So we need to select some mouths uh, underneath the audio. Um, but on, but until now it's working. I'm pretty happy. Uh, let's take a look at the properties of the audio file. So I'm going to go to properties, select the keyframe of the audio. And uh, just make sure that the sync setting is on stream. That will make sure that the audio file will play um, immediately. So what I need to do now is uh, make sure that he uh, shuts his mouth until the audio starts actually. Um, and he's uh, moving his mouth already now inside of the animation. Um, so we need to alter that. So I'm going to select the keyframe. Or actually I'm going to select the symbol on the stage uh, in the scene. And I'm going to go to the properties over here open up looping and then say well it doesn't need to loop it just needs to play a single frame frame number one or uh, any one you'd like and then we're going to use the, the frame picker when the audio starts so here I'm going to say D um, so I'm going to select the frame just before I'm uh, starting to speak and hit F6 to make a keyframe in that case, the mouth will uh, stay put over here until that particular keyframe. And now I can select the mouth on the stage, use the frame picker and select any mouth that I'd like, which is pronouncing the V. And that's this one. But it's hard to see uh, which ones are for which letters. So maybe we need to tag those so we can see, well, this mouth represents the V. Um, so I need to go back to the uh, symbol again. So I'm going to double click on the mouth, open it up, and flag those keyframes. So I'm going to select the keyframe and label it over here in the properties um, with a tag. So normal, that's okay. Second one represents uh, the V sound 
for instance and every time you uh, select your keyframes and flag them with a label uh, well it gets a red flag so you know it's uh, it's got a label on it which is uh, perfect um, so let's say this is what this one is for the S um, well I think you've got the idea um, and you can alter uh, the rest of it as well and now when we go back to the scene one to uh, make the animation and this is going to be an A from Adobe so I'm going to make a new keyframe again and select the mouth use the frame picker and let's select one that I didn't tag <laughs> um, but you can see the uh, the ones that I did tag with a with a label are uh, are over here so I'm going to select number 9 so let's uh, use another one F6 and let's do F6 again and now you've got your mouth speaking so let's have a look at the result there you go so these are the basics for you to make a, a lip sync animation within Adobe Animate CC so have fun with it and I uh, can't wait to see what you come up with Bye bye for now and see you again next time in another video.